I feel like. Welcome to Podswoggle, a wrestling podcast with entertainment and the Podswoggle title tournament live on Twitch. I am your host, your play-by-play man, and your color commentator, Chris Mullet, joining you for the best in computer-simulated video game wrestling. If you are new here, welcome. Whether it be live, I'm an eight wrestlers or figures in the world of pop culture, fantasy, whatever it may be, to compete in a random tournament to determine who will be our podcast's Pod Swoggle champion and in turn which member of the Swoggle Squad becomes champion on our weekly podcast that gets powers and responsibilities. If you are not new here and you listen to the podcast, you know 2K20 killing podcasts out here, left and right, Desi. Uh, if you're not new here and you listen to the podcast, then you know that this is our final monthly Twitch tournament. Podswoggle Wrestling Podcast with Entertainment will be wrapping up its uh, its weekly show uh, in about seven short weeks uh, at a Podswoggle 500. Um, so in turn, a lot of the things that surround it, like pickums and other gimmicks and whatnot are going to be wrapping up. So this is to determine our final uh, champion in the monthly tournaments, but does that mean it's going to be our final pause buckle champion? Because if we're going out, we're going out with a bang. We're going out with one big old final swoggle mania, May 17th time to be determined. Our final monthly Twitch tournament will rich walk into swoggle mania. As the Swoggle Squad champion still, he's been killing it with the powers as of late, as I am feeling the effects of uh, doing all kinds of fun Matt Cardona things. I say that because he's not Zack Ryder anymore. He's always going to be Zack Ryder. Shut the fuck it's up. my wife, Samantha, on the couch, making her voice heard as usual. Uh, or will a new person step uh, to the forefront? Of course, Tope has the, uh, the, the reigning defending pit champion, Edge. The current Potswoggle champion is your reigning defending March of Madness champion, Nick Aldis. We got a lot of weird characters, as you would expect. What's going on, B-Sum? Uh, we are going to have fun tonight one final time before we get to the big old hullabaloo that is May 17th and the last Swoggle Mania. Uh, no Heels and Heels tonight, but they will be represented on the last Swoggle Mania. I corresponded with the Heels and Heels Championship Committee today. And we are in the works on uh, booking that final match for that tournament. But let's get started, shall we? We are going to get started with uh, one of the people. What's going on, White and or Nerdy? The aforementioned Pit Champion. Uh, we are going to make sure. Let me go. We're going to hold this under March of Madness rules. Don't want to make you commit to anything, but were you guys thinking of doing a monthly or sporadic whenever the time is right? It's going to be whenever the time is right. Uh... As I mentioned on the podcast, it's inconceivable to think that I'm, I'm never going to record a Podswoggle podcast again um, in terms of just all the gimmicks and all the yearly things we do. There's some of the things I'm, I'm just going to want to partake in, you know, at, at some point. Uh, March of Madness will not, not necessarily be a yearly thing, but there may be a year where I'm like, you know, fuck, I want to do a March of Madness. And it may pop up. You don't know. Um, my ask is that everyone just stays uh, subscribed, stays uh, following, stays friends, whatever whatever platform it is. Uh, and when things pop up, we'll make sure that people are all aware from it. Hey, what's going on, M. Patrick? Just uh, it'll it'll come around when it's when it's ready for you, and we're ready to give it to you. Uh, your reigning defending pit champion is Edge, and that is automatically one of Tobey's picks. The pit champion, actually, I believe, the past couple years has ended up becoming Podswoggle champion. Uh, and Nick Aldis did that last year. He's a two-time champion. Who will Edge be taking on? My pick. It's kind of a grudge match here. Tope, of course, represented by Edge. You scared me when y'all started talking about a bomb on the Discord. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is big news, but not, not anything life-threatening or whatnot. Uh, Tope's word vomit led me for my pick this month. Shia LaBeef, which is just a... Sh- uh, Shia LaBeouf, uh, famously with a bag over his head, just jacked to the gills. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. I believe I gave Shia LaBeouf uh, all of Lex Luger's moves. So this will be fun. Uh, this is my sole opportunity. I thought someone was sick or leaving permanently. No, we're all leaving permanently. <laughs> That's all that it is. 
No, nothing. Thankfully, everyone is in very, very good health throughout this whole crazy endeavor. Um, I hope all of you that are listening and watching are also getting through this pandemic as best as possible. Oh, he's actually going to wrestle with the paper bag. Okay, that's a disadvantage already, but we'll, we'll get our we'll make our way through it. I right, so desperately want to be champion. Uh, right now, it's the hot time to be Podswoggle champion because powers are getting played. Yeah, there you go. Cheap shot by Shia LaBeef. Power, powers are getting played left and right. Nice DDT by Shia. Imagine Shia and Indiana Jones 4 by those vines snapping under the weight of the beef. Yeah, those monkeys are intimidated by all that muscles. Nice version of a Uranagi there by Shia. Um, what was I saying before? Uh, yeah, just in the past, I'll just give you guys a preview. If you're not signed up on Patreon, patreon.com slash arcade audio, there's going to be a lot of content available over there. Right now, Rich's uh, full Zack Ryder Ghostbusters video is on there. My full Go Zack Ryder Ghostbusters video will be hitting there soon. Uh, Tope's uh, Over the Edge reaction to the Edge Randy Orton WrestleMania match will be on there soon. That's my favorite. You have two other videos of mine uh, related to CM Punk and Kale coming up on there. Uh, very soon, two Rich Reacts videos to Hogan Knows Best and to uh, some Impact Wrestling match. I forget which one it was. Uh, that's just the tip of it. Also, the Retro Diary is back. My pay-per-view Retro Diary is Edge is starting to take over here on Shia LaBeef. Oh, watch out for the bag! Uh, the first rendition, I'm going to go back and I'm going to repost all of the former uh, articles that were that were... Uh, published on podswoggle.com many years ago and I've transcribed I'm ready to hate you so much during the writer video uh, if you watched Rich's I think Rich was m Rich was more vitriolic it means more to Rich I think I said the meaner thing at one point real talk without you guys and because of the pandemic I may lose interest in wrestling entirely well hopefully I mean there's a lot of good wrestling going on there's too much wrestling going on um to be perfectly honest, I'll share with you guys that are here. I mentioned on the podcast that there was a, a plethora of reasons as to why I decided 500 is, it was it. The biggest one being the, the time that it takes and the amount of work I put into it and, and my daughter growing up and whatnot. Despite the fact that she was an awful kid tonight and I want to do anything but be around her at the moment. Um, but it's, it's not trans... It's transparent that the majority of the Swoggle Squad right now, like, we're not watching that much wrestling. <laughs> like, we all are busy with our lives and our jobs, and I feel, as a big elbow drop misses from Shia LaBeef, I feel it's unfair and dishonest to keep, like, talking wrestling every week. Look at the strength of Shia LaBeef! Look at the beef of Shia! Attitude adjustment! I hope that's it! Come on, Shia! Ah, damn. Uh, so, like, it's hard for us. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of doing news podcasts and being like, all right, so what's everyone want to talk about? And everyone's like, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, have you watched this? No, I haven't watched I caught the highlights. Like, that's 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 not, you know? It's, just, it's, it's, the, it's the culture now. There's too much wrestling to follow up on and do. Um, and I love it, but... Hey, guys. <laughs> Our wrestling podcast is also not watching wrestling. What's going on, Heels and Heels? So that's, that was part of it. Ashaya's wrenching away at Edge, trying to make the pit champion tap. Edge got taken to the distance many times by Minoru Suzuki and Colt Cabana in that pit tournament. So that, that was another one of, like I said, the 20 or 30 different reasons why, for me, it was it was time. Flapjack by Edge was... Not that I'm... I, I will never lose interest in wrestling. If, if you can't watch the Boneyard match and the Firefly Funhouse match and not get invigorated in wrestling, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um... But, you know, it, it's just not something I, I can talk about on a weekly basis anymore with terms of news. And I'm, I'm out of game ideas. Edge just had a comeback moment after already hitting his signature. This game loves Edge. Oh, my God. Come on, Shia. There you go. Shia with that eagle eye. I thought you were going to look at me. I was like, don't look at me with my movie references. Shia, the pin on edge. Uh, I couldn't squeeze it in yet. <laughs> I was literally just about to say, uh, honey boy, I don't know. Peanut butter falcon. 
Holes 2, more holes. Check out the Holes and Holes on Patreon with the Heels and Heels. Their, their, their Patreon bonus content is is amazing. Me, even more amazing than the net, yeah. I've been in out for months or years at a time. Spear by Edge. That's a rope break. The rope break. His bag's underneath the rope, ref. Yes. Good. Shia kicks out. One spear is not enough to put down Shia LaBeef. This gives me a chance to catch up on Mary the Movies and Blank Slate. If you want to hear me every week, spin kick by Edge. Mary the Movies is the place to go. Blank Slate, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> right now, Mary moves on a hot streak. The Fanatic was last week. This week, we watched Cats. <laughs> oh, attitude adjustment, pile driver. <laughs> Is the pile driver enough for Shia? Come on. You got it, Shia. Damn it. A bridge on the river, quiet. Hard left. <laughs> it's a hard left. It's just one of the greatest American films ever made. Oh, it's not American, British. Huh? There actually technically isn't a box. We have to look it up online. You, sp you spoke like a four-year-old that's learning how to talk. Edge hip toss from the top rope. Uh, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, the, the Retro Diaries are going to be there. Another spear by Edge. God damn it. Come on, Shia. You can kick out a two. Come on, Shia. Damn it. Edge moving on to the semifinals. Shia LaBeef has been eliminated, which means I have no chance at being Swoggle Squad champion going into Swoggle Mania. I agree, Desi. Very lame. Edge, are we destined for a pit versus Marcho Madness final? Edge did his part. Uh, so... I found a notebook that had five retro diaries I'd never even typed up that I just needed to, like, transcribe. So I'm to the end of 89. I thought my next show to watch is Starcade 89, which I've never seen before, which is part of the reason why I want to start it up again. So if you go to the Podbloggle, I know that name sucks, but it's on arcadeaudio.net, the Podbloggle, uh, for uh, two episodes. If it was Shia LaBeouf back, well, he would have won. Why did you tell me that before? Damn it. Should have given him all Buffs moves. Um, what's going on, Lucha Verde? Uh, two diaries per week. Same as this model, but with that. Uh, two diaries per week will be available for you until basically about three or four months from now is when uh, new uh, renditions will kick off. So follow us on social media and you'll get all the information there. All right, let's see if Tope can get a 50-50 chance already. Also, I need another theme park news review on the Blank Slate shoe. Maybe not at this time. Uh, news is everything's really clean right now. Uh, Tope's pick. Uh, originally, I thought I couldn't find it, but I just wasn't looking for the right thing. I couldn't find the Velva Teen Fiend, but I did find the Velva Fiend Dream, which instead of the Fiend Velva Teen Dreamed, it's the Velva Teen Dream Fiended. Yes, so those Retro Diaries are going to be back and are going to be a really good time, Desi. Uh, so they're all going to be there uh, over the next, basically, two weeks for the next three months until from then. Then it'll be one week from uh, from then on. Velva Fiend Dream, Tope's second pick, taking on one of Rich's picks. Rich originally asked for uh, Bong Joon-ho, the director of Parasite. Then he asked for any character from Parasite. I thought I could find him. I could not. So Rich went with something he's currently binge-watching. Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, Last Airbender. I know nothing about it, so bear with me. His pick is Ang. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Rich wanting to hang on to that title with a, a child. A special child. Nah, wrong phrase. A child filled with powers. That's better. Uh, Swoggle Mania, May 17th. Already announced the following... Five men. Michael Whidden versus Triple H, Tony Nese versus All Might, Hulk Hogan versus Santino Morella, and CM Punk versus The Fiend. I miss those retro diaries. One of my favorite things to read along at work. Well, you're going to get to reread them all over again, and the new ones are going to be coming your way in about three months. And then the Augie Artillas Memorial Triple Threat is going to be Tugboat against two different people, he said, because I could not find an Ernest the Cat Miller, but I did find a Big Cat Ernie Lad, and no Fantasio but Rikishi. So it'll be Rikishi. Tugboat and Ernie Ladd. 
on Swagglemania. One of these men looking to get into the title match at Swagglemania. It's the only way they'll be uh, be on the card. I'll announce some of the other matches as the card takes shape over the night. Aang already working hard on the Velvet Fiend to dream. I don't like the way th the Fiend, the, I don't know what to call him. The Dream, I guess, is what I have to call him, because we have a Fiend match coming up after this. I know nothing about uh, The Last Airbender. Dream. Backbreaker. Not often that a Fiend win would be an upset. But this technically is just a, a bombed-out Dream. This Aang is a little bit <laughs> wall of Sean in the face. Inconceivable! Of course, there's no count-outs on the floor anymore. March of Madness stopped that. And here they go, taking some laps around the ring. If you watch March of Madness, you're familiar with that. Getting back in the ring. No count-outs. He's just going to flex on him a little bit. Work that shoulder out. There you go, Dream. Pop it back into place, and he goes back out of the floor. Maybe that's where the Dream needs to keep him. Like I said, the Dream is a big underdog in terms of rating. Dream sending Aang to the other side once more. Again, thank you guys for joining us on Wednesday night. We know there's a lot of wrestling options for you on Wednesday. The real reason for the change was everyone doing bad in Marcho. No, the real reason was match quality, really. was I was tired of countouts. I was tired of having to rerun matches, potentially. Uh, it, it had nothing to do with the results. The results are always going to be nutty. Even we got rid of it. Fucking like Nick Aldis and Tama Tonga were still the finals. Which, I'm going to announce that match for you here now. Uh, Swoggle Mania. We are going to determine who is the greatest runner-up in March of Madness history. We have a six-pack challenge. Oh, <laughs> changes to the podcast. Got you. A six-pack challenge between the six runners-up in March of Madness history uh, during the live era that never won the championship. It'll be Tama Tonga versus Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt versus Big E versus Dolph Ziggler versus Eddie Edwards at Swoggle Mania. First fall will win it. Of course, that does mean that Bray Wyatt is technically double booked. I don't count The Fiend and Bray Wyatt as the same person because there's a separate Bray Wyatt in the game. So he'll be pulling double duty at Swoggle Mania. He could conceivably defending that, uh, that title against CM Punk. We'll find out here in our next match if he's going to be moving on. Dream. Going to work. Jackhammer on Aang. Aang is in trouble. One count only. Gonna have to bend some of that air to get back in this. I have no idea again what that show's about. Kick to the stomach. Are Jilly and Sam going to get a chance to book a couple Swoggle Mania matches? Nope, this one's all me and Patrick. I, I'm not letting the ladies book, unfortunately. I <laughs> Dream. Dream Valley Driver on Aang. No, I have to call the action. Uh, Samantha will be happy with one match. Because some fucking dingleberries in it. Uh, funny. Purple Rainmaker. How much did Sam cry when Zack Ryder got the boot? Uh, she's crying more that I'm tagging her in my tweets. <laughs> Don't worry. He hasn't even began to think about blocking me yet. DDT by Aang on the Dream. Two count only. Uh, she was not happy, but... I mean... What the fuck is she gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> Dropkick by the Dream. Misses. 13, 14 years. Dragon Sleeper. Your math is horrible. Dragon Sleeper. Dream gets out of it. Eight. Nine. Right now? Pounding AJ Lee. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't do it anymore. Oh, right, right. Because it's too often to 
cash it out if you can't take it, you little pussy ass bitch. I would love to see CM Punk and Zack Ryder in a in a real fight. That'd be great. Just so when he loses, I have to deal with it all. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the action here. <laughs> Dream off the ropes. He's kind of had an answer for Aang at every turn. Got him. Another jackhammer, maybe. Aang up. Velva Fiend Dream. Jackhammer doesn't go for the immediate pin this time. Might be a mistake. Throwing him back. So when does he go? So when he goes on cameo, how many is too many woos for you, mullet? Uh, I don't even want to begin to know. I'm already, look, in private I've said this to other people, but I'm really scared of whatever Rich says is going to happen to me if I can't get that man to block me by episode 500. Part of me thinks him and Zack Ryder are somehow in cahoots with one another. Uh, I, I don't even yeah, want to know. No, I don't think he's friends. I just, he Rich knows, knows people. If he knows Zack Ryder and hasn't introduced me yet, I will never forget him. I just, Are you listening, Rich? No, he's not here. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> oh, cameo. <laughs> Tell me everything you know. Dream Valley Driver for the second time. And the Dream does it. That is a huge upset. Aang is eliminated. So Tope now has a 50-50 chance of moving on. Can the real Fiend do the same thing? Could be shaping up to an all-Fiend championship, an all-championship championship. It is Rich's third chance to get a 50-50 chance, or third chance to get a person in the semifinals. Uh, where is he? He is, nope. He is under downloads. The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, taking on Spencer's pick. If you've been listening to the podcast, you know Spencer's been doing one thing, and that's some uh, Animal Crossing. Who's that capitalist bastard from Animal Crossing? It's Tom Nook, the capitalist raccoon. Again, I know nothing about it. I'm glad I found one. Here we go. Winner of this will take on Edge. Of course, The Fiend already booked for a match at Swoggle Mania, his title match. Uh, it could become a title match if he wins. Uh, speaking of title matches at Swoggle Mania, the little seen and used arcade audio tag team championships. I think it would be fitting for Tope to win. He does have that massive reign of terror. Yeah, it would be appropriate. Uh, they were very. Uh, they were held for a very long time by a hockey player in Wreck-It Ralph. They lost at last Swoggle Mania to the makeshift tag team of the Burger King and Jack Skellington. They will be back to defend those tag titles against a tag team uh, that we've never actually seen before, but we have seen the competitors from before. Former Potswoggle champion Yukon Cornelius and his muscle that debuted at the Potswoggle Rumble to much success, the Bumble. So it'll be the Burger King and Jack Skellington against Yukon Cornelius and the Bumble. At Swoggle Mania for the Arcade Audio Tag Team Championships, who become the last tag? Who'll be the Danny Doring and Roadkill of the Arcade Audio Tag Team titles? So the Fiend is working on uh, Tom Nook here very early on. Tom Nook, nice, uh, nice uh, uh, feet and jeans. I don't know how to explain this capitalist raccoon man. Any, my white friend Bill. Uh, kind of. Kind of. I will go ahead and tell you that there will be an unused rumble, as there always is for a Swoggle Mania. And there may be some Bill in that, in some manner of speaking. There also might be a different white friend Bill, Bill who I'm announcing here later on. Oh, no, I guess I can't announce that match. Yeah. So I announced the unused rumble, and the unused rumble is going to be an important part of the show. Uh, we're going to have our typical all-star match as well. Another six-pack challenge. An all-star six-man from six people that made their uh, debut at uh, the Potswoggle Rumble. It will be The Moon from Majora's Mask, Rum Tum Tugger from Cats, Christopher Benoit Blanc, Bam Bam Out of Bayou, Chester Cheetah, and Just a Bill from Schoolhouse Rock. So he's white, and he's a Bill. So that's as close as we're going to get him, Patrick.
yeah, I, I, I've literally booked like a hundred people on this final show. Dean working on Tom Nook, something fierce. Fiend had a disappointing March of Madness, was eliminated in the first round by Matt Jackson, who would eventually wind up in the final four. So it was not for naught, but was not the performance he wanted to have as he just going to work on Tom Nook. Kick to the chest. Stomping away at him. Winner of this gets edge. One count only. Choking him. The viciousness of the fiend. Choking that raccoon out. Sister Abigail by the fiend. He's not working by the hour here. Pin on Tom Nook who kicks out. Maybe it's going to take the mandible claw. I don't know. Can a raccoon bite your hand? Well, I mean, anything can bite anything if it's got a mouth. What am I saying anymore? What am I doing? Mandible claw on Tom Nook. And it is over. As if Vinnie Mac would let his billionaire friend lose. Oh, he just did. The Fiend dominates Tom Nook. So Spencer and I are out. Tom Nook didn't put up much of it. Those boots were disturbing to see from the bottom. Fiend. Where was that in March of Madness? <laughs> There's that sister Abigail. Surprisingly was not it in the first place. Here's the same damn... Oh yeah, those feet are horrifying from the bottom. Oh, they look like crusted over Legos. Actually, I haven't seen Bray's, like, victory uh, clip yet. Just wanted to see what happened, if he does the, the thing or not. Probably won't, because this game blows. See if it does. It shows me before we go, uh, I'll get, go to Seizureville. Welcome on down to Seizureville. Oh, it does do it. Well, at least I got the fiend right. Bunch of dudes doing wolf howls for some reason. Tom Nook comes back and now his character changes to a benevolent man who donates all the shelters. <laughs> Capitalist no more. Okay, they do do that part, so that's cool at least. Alrighty. Now it's time for a championship match between a man who is on one hell of a run as your reigning defending March of Madness champion and, of course, your pod swoggle champion. He's the national treasure, Nick Aldis. Why is the blackout for Fiend longer, <laughs> longer a video game than in real life? Tope's here, everybody. Tope. Oh, man, Tope, you're here just in time. I almost want to just give you the edge versus the Fiend right now. I just called him the edge. Uh, that's the next round match, Tope, is Edge versus The Fiend. Uh, it is Nick Aldis. Defending in Augie's pick. He wanted Brian Pillman. He almost said Nails. I gave him both. It's Brian Pillman in Nails' attire. It is Brian Nailsman. Hey, that's, that's what I'm doing, all right? Turn titles on. Never sail it saves the championship the way I want it to for some reason. So, Nick Aldis won this championship last year after he won the 2019 Pit Tournament. He defeated Pasta Malone for that championship. He would hold that title until the following month. He had one successful defense of it against, I'll tell you in just a moment, my boy. Uh, he defended the title against Lars Sullivan. 
So Brian Pillman, after he went to jail for assaulting Stone Cold, ended up and he lost it to the Samoan Cookie Monster in an Extreme Rules match. Then Nick Aldis turned around and defeated Tama Tonga in the championship of March of Madness to win the title and to win March of Madness, the second man to ever win March of Madness in the pit after Zack Sabre Jr. Of course, Tonga defeated Scorpio Sky, who defeated Aleister Black for it. Now Brian Pillman's, uh, Brian Nailsman's got a random opportunity to win the title and then go into Swoggle Mania as champion, perhaps. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, he is crazy as fuck. And he's for the International Internet Championship. No music for, for Nailsman. Of course, I downloaded it with numbers. Why would it ha include the numbers? Of the domestic <laughs> championship. <laughs> Look, I don't know what else to name it, all right? It's Brian Pullman assaulted Vince McMahon, but it's okay because he's a loose cannon. If you had to guess how many Todd Swoggle champions have there been, I can tell you exactly. You don't think I have the book in front of me that tells me exactly what happened? How many there have been? Uh, there have been. Hold on, give me one second. Let me do some quick, quick math. Yeah, 33. There have been 53 Pod Swoggle champions, uh, 53 men to hold the Pod Swoggle championship uh, across 60 reigns. Three. Yes. Of course, the two-time champions who we're going to get to a little bit later on uh, are a thing. Eleven more, and we could have had a tournament of champions. <laughs> oh, you guys are trying. I God bless you. There's the champ. Beautiful green belt. Podswoggle Madness. Bell's rung. We're underway for our Podswoggle title match. Big boot by Aldis to start. Make sure my math was correct. Hold on. That is 29. 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, Fifty-two. There have been fifty-two individual champions all time for March of Madness. This is a happening sign that no Gorilla Monsoon came back from the dead. Tilt a whirl. DDT by Nailsman. This will never make the this will make the parade of champions I was working on easier if these are the last matches for the title. Uh, well, there will be one at Swoggle Mania. Uh, that match is to be determined depending on who's going to be there. If the Fiend wins tonight's tournament. Then he will wrestle CM Punk for the, the Potswoggle Championship. But that will also not be the final title match of that night. I'm going to get to what's happening. The, the, the literal parade of champions we're having at Swoggle Mania. He's going for a pin kick out at one from Nailsman after that superplex. We are giving so many men so many opportunities at Swoggle Mania to walk out as champion. Thus completing Mullet's elaborate plan for CM Punk to be the final Fox Uncle champion. Jay Riso, you know me so well. And also, I promise you, not my intention. 100% honesty. I was booking Swoggle Mania. I was like, oh, I don't do, I don't have the usual. I don't have the possible title. I had a rematch clause. Oh, it'd be crazy. Uh, I was like, oh, I, I didn't do like the a match for everybody thing. So I came up with Spencer's easy. Widdens was easy. Richards was easy. I didn't have anything for Tope and I. And I was like, oh, I don't have Punk on the show, so Punk's my thing. And I was going to be Punk and Edge. And I was like, oh, wait, I already have Edge booked somewhere else. Plus, Edge is in the tournament. And I was like, oh, well, Tope's favorite wrestler now is is The Fiend. So I'll put Punk and The Fiend. That'll be fun. And then I was like, oh, wait, The Fiend's in the tournament. I was like, oh, 
well, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, it just worked out that way, you know? So, it, it, it's only if the Fiend wins the title. If Fiend doesn't win the title tonight, then it's just a regular old match. It's up on. It's up to the Fiend. I didn't do anything, Jay Russo. I didn't do anything. Nailsman, giving, giving Aldis a run for his money here. We saw Nick Aldis win 11 matches in the past year. And they only been beaten by a Cookie Monster. Awkwardly bump into each other. Another crucifix. Dropping Aldis down on the shoulders and the back of the head. Nice Frankensteiner there. Aldis will roll to the floor. Nope, will roll to the apron. Nailsman throwing up that four. Either for the number of horsemen or the number of uh, prior convictions he has. Sunset flip power bomb to the floor. Legit haven't seen an Aldis match since he was Magnus. I've seen too many Nick Aldis matches, mostly in a video game. Uh, he, he, of course, he wrestled the NWA title match against uh, Cody at All In a couple years ago. Not a big NWA power fan, but I'm sure those matches have been, been fine. I think Aldis is fine. Big chop on Aldis. Nails been getting back in the ring. Will Okada and or EC3 be on the show? I can confirm that one of them will be on the show. The other one will not. Uh, again, was another another plan I had to run that match back, but that match, uh, he was still brutal across body. Nailsman giving Aldis everything he got. That might be the biggest test Aldis has had. What if Augie? What if Augie Artillas, who owes six fucking powers, becomes the champion here tonight? Going into the final tournament. Oh, got him up. Cross arm electric chair. Of course, he's got Brian Pillman's moves. So he's going to be thinking Air Pillman here. Top rope. Oh, took too much time, but he still countered him. How this woozy. Double axe handle. Jim Ross versus A1 in a bottle of steak sauce wrestling. Magnus was the winner of my favorite match concept, the Dixieland match. He can do no harm. Short arm clothesline. Aldis is gassed. Nailsman taking Aldis to the limit. Oh, and he just busted him open. But not really, because for whatever reason, this game glitches when you make somebody bleed. Aldis now looking for a tap out. Arm bar. Arm bar on Nailsman. Trying to make him tap. Nailsman gets out of it. Winner of this gets the Velva Fiend to dream. Swinging neck breaker. Is it going to be two rich and two topes? A 50-50 chance, or is Augie going to spice it up a little bit? Dixie Carter, that's a name I haven't thought about in a while. Nailsman, top rope. Cross body, Aldis catches him in midair. The strength of the champion, world's strongest slam. Yes, I saw JR's only fan sunny plug today. Aldis now. Got Nailsman where he wants him. Probably thinking the top rope elbow, but Nailsman already got to his feet. Aldis does not block it like Nailsman did. And a top rope arm drag. Nailsman staring down at the Pod Swoggle champion. Nick Aldis. He's booked for Swoggle Mania no matter what, but you know he wants to walk in as champion. Nailsman sleeper. Now Aldis immediately gets out of it with a jawbreaker. Shot. Oh, and a low blow right in front of the referee. And that's going to do it. Nailsman DQ'd with a blatant low blow right in front of the referee. He had the match in his control, but there are still disqualifications. Nick Aldis successfully defends the title in some manner of speaking. Augie is out. It's 50% rich, 50% tope. Our final four is set. Such a loose cannon. This is everything I wanted for the last tournament. I remember some of our early tournaments, we had like double count outs and all kinds of weird ass shit. All right, tope, take your pants off. One of the most auggy things I'd expect. It is time for the Fiend versus Edge. Edge is on one a hell of a streak. Oh, 
Oh, the fact that the edge is rated three higher than the fiend is a joke. I'm not going to lie. I'm butt naked right now. Oh, Tope. Yes, one of those options is fed up Seamus. It's like there's Shaun of the Dead, kooky, uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead Seamus character from their weird tower storyline DLC. Yeah, that's the phrase for it. Winner of this is going to the championship. Bells rung, we're underway. Fiend's got to come out of the gate early and hot. Glad they put that in instead of fixing the game. Yeah, right? Worth it. Big clothesline by Edge, taking the Fiend off of his feet. So we have a chance at an all-Fiend final. We have a chance at a... Uh, Pit versus Marcho Champion final. Of course, you can't make money off of patches. <laughs> I don't want no stinking patches. Give us, give us a bunch of zombified wrestlers. Edge delayed a vertical suplex on the Fiend. This match will go 40 minutes out of spite. You bastard. Well, yeah, I still can't announce any of these matches yet. For real though, Cyberpunk Asuka was worth it. <laughs> I I didn't. I was gonna get the the Southpaw one, um, so I had to get. I had to get a couple of them. I got the first one because I was like, oh well, you know, I gotta get the whole game. And then I was like, oh, they're all fifteen dollars. Fuck that. I was gonna get the Southpaw one. But then they didn't have anybody but, like, the sea creature. There was all, like, like non-Southpaw characters I knew. And I was like, what the fuck? How'd they even fuck this up? So yeah, so I just didn't get it. I didn't get the Wasteland one. I didn't get the the, the, the Cyberpunk one. I was just like, Ugh, I'm not spending another $60 when I'm not playing this game. Big clubbing blow to the stomach of Edge. Fiend. Draping him out on the top rope. Oh, yeah, there was uh, Mr. McElroy, the crooked banker, yeah. It's like, how do you have Tex Ferguson and Chad Too Bad? Like, clotheslines the Fiend over the top rope. Fiend right back up. They both get back in the ring right away. Clubbing blow. Edge, gut buster. Now Edge, a bit of the Fiend's own medicine, choking him right back. Edge, Northern Lights. The character options did suck, but that arena was worth it. Yeah, hey I like some of the arena stuff, too. Like, I just couldn't couldn't get it all in one fell swoop. There's Edge of that face buster. Fiend wisely rolling to the apron, looking at the DLC list for Southpaw. How could they release seven female wrestlers when one of the jokes was they only hired one of them? Oh, fuck, I didn't even think of that. Does it? Oh, God. This game is just made by bad people. Edge looking for the education. Implant DDT on the Fiend. Cool CW parts, but not much else. Ref really slow to get down for the cover. Count of two. Fiend kicks out. Ref got down a, a second earlier. This match would be over with. Surprised Edge didn't go for the spear. We know the Fiend is weak to spears. Another DDT. Fiend cuts Edge off there. Oh, Sister Abigail! Is that enough to keep Edge down? Pit champion on his way out? No. We saw it took the mandible claw. Samantha Uri for Sairi Kane is a good pun! Mandible claw! Edge is out! Edge is out! One! Two! No! Edge kicks out of the Mandible Claw! Second wind! Edge has had much worse in his mouth! Fiend! Yuranagi again! How... How is Edge still doing this? You can't let him keep doing this! Sunset Flip! Fiend! Struggling! Count of two! Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna be so mad. That was a very close near fall. 
Man getting their distancing. Oh, I'm going for Spear Edge of Matic. Edge busting out all the hits. Cover on Fiend. Count of two. Fiend kicks out. This one's shaping up to be a nice little match here between two absolute pros. Edge waking him up. I had no idea that animation was in the game. Edge thinking Spear Fiend blocks it. Edge way too transparent. Picks him up. Edge cuts him off again. Fiend sleeper. Oh, got him down. Crossing the arm. Crossing the body. Is Edge going to tap out to the sleeper? Ripping. Tearing. Nope. Edge survives. What? The Fiend just did his spooky powers. Ends up behind Edge. Belly to back suplex. The Fiend. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a thing that he can do in the game, I guess. Just him and Taker. And randomly Bobby Fish. I don't know why. But Edge still. God damn it. Super Edge. With the implant DDT on the Fiend. One. Two. Edge has done it. Oh my god. If Velvet Fiend do your dream, can't do that. I'm calling guilt bullshit. Edge has beat the Fiend. The Pit Champion is in the finals. A good effort from the Fiend. So now officially CM Punk cannot become the final Podswoggle Champion. But if you can do it because he died like eight years ago, it's just a ghost. It's a Bobby Fish ghost. Very good match between the Fiend and Edge. Here is your winner, the rated R superstar, Edge. So the Fiend and CM Punk will be just a strict one-on-one -on -one non-title match. Edge in the championship. But who will be the champion? Let's find out now. We have to conquer another another fiend. The Velva Fiend Dream. Or will it be the champ? Nick Aldis. Uh, championship is on. Oh, and we're on Nitro. Okay. Nick Aldis. Did really... Did success, he successfully defended the championship. Excuse me. But not a convincing defense for the reigning defending March of Madness champion. Meanwhile, Velvet Fiend Dream, very impressive against the highest rated person that was in this tournament... By almost 10 points, Ang from Avatar The Last Airbender. I thought I put engines on. I guess I forgot. Bell's rung were underway. Dream coming out hot with a Famouser. It's been a different Nick Aldis we've seen. He's still tired from that effort he put into March of Madness. Maybe there's an underlying injury we don't know about that he incurred over four weeks ago. Dream thinks he's got it already. One count only. Or not even a count, I should say. Oh, this sends him into the corner. Big chop. Now oh, this is as textbook as you get. And that you never want to buy it. You just want to rent a used copy of it. Neckbreaker gets a two already on Dream. Off that hangman, Hangman's Neckbreaker, like a Tower of London style. Now Pile Driver, nope. Power Bomb, ooh, head caught the bottom rope there. Big chop. And for a boot, misses. 
We'll send them in the opposite corner. Oh, awkwardly bump into each other. Bulldog. Uppercut by Aldous. Is that enough to keep Dream down? I severely doubt it, and I am correct. Snap mare. Little neck work there. Say that armbar he thought it was going to work for him against Nailsman earlier. Another power bomb. Oh, the neck and head of the dream has smashed those bottom ropes and those turnbuckles in a couple bad ways in this match. Big boot. Back and forth. Big drop kick by the Felva Fiend Dream. Now this a third power bomb. Oh, he got all three ropes that time. He's trying to kill him. But how can you kill the Velva Fiend Dream? You can't. Aldous, another European uppercut, wearing the dream down. We had two fiends in the semifinals. We might end up with none. We could end up with Determining who the ultimate champ is. Now this. Sends Dream into the corner. Big boot by Dream. Takes the leg out from under him. Knee to the lower back. Sends him into the corner. Dream now. Oh, Dream Valley Driver. Dream Valley Driver! Got him in perfect position for the Purple Rainmaker. Doesn't go for it. Thinks that's enough. Do we have a new champion? Count of two, no. He keeps hitting that Purple Rainmaker. Or keeps hitting the... the, the... Oh. Oh, he went for like a, a best moonsault ever version. We might have one finals where I'd be more interested in seeing their wives wrestle. <laughs> Uh, they've wrestled plenty. Aldous wearing out Dream, but Dream answers back. Cutter misses. Sends him over the top. Oh, looking for that. Looking for deadlift superplex. Shades of Cesaro here. Second rope. Deadlift superplex from the apron of the ring. Is that enough to keep the dream down? Pinned by Aldis. Count of two, no. This is awesome chant for that superplex. Regal's cutter. Aldis arm breaker. Center of the ring. Dream gonna tap! Wrench and nowhere close to the ropes. Dream survives. Aldous cuts him off once again. Kick to the back. Aldous. This is the fourth power bomb of the match. Velva Fiend Dream punched. Go behind. Oh, I think that's the move he won March of Madness with. The protoplex, count of one, count of two. Nick Aldis is your winner. And we are set up for Pit Champion versus March of Madness Champion. The Velva Fiend Dream gave it everything he could. But ultimately, Aldis does it again.
long-term booking. Both men can stake a claim to being this year's best. But there's only going to be one. We thought this way, this was a way for Malta to see a Punk to be champion. And it was set up that way. I'm the best booker on planet Earth. Fuck you, Gato. Fuck you, Tony Khan. Turns out it was a way for Toby to get Edge to be champ. Trust me, I already bought a gun to put in my mouth for when this happens in a few moments. And I still can't announce what I'm doing because I don't know. I have to maneuver matches because both these guys were already booked. Custom match time. One more time. But we're going to make it no DQ. I don't want any DQs hampering this. It is the champ, Nick Aldis, against Edge. Winner becomes champion. I hope Mr. Magnus wins. Mr. Smithsonian already got his win this year. Shut up, Tobe. Of course, Edge is on the ban list. This is the only way he could become Podswoggle champion is by winning a tournament to qualify for it. Backing his way into this. Custom match rules. We are going to turn DQs off. No count out on the floor. Rope breaks will stay on. Uh, here we go. Who will win the final tournament? Well, who was going to... Both these guys won conceivably their final tournaments the last pit and the last march of madness conceivably were won by these two men now who is going to win the final monthly title tournament edge evading the ban list and being the last champion is the only way i want this to end Aldis had to win a 70 whatever tournament edge had to win a 16 one full of jamokes edge didn't beat jamokes edge beat uh who the fuck did edge beat edge beat minoru suzuki edge beat Cole Cabana. It's in my other book. Hold on. Uh, another reason I want ending all this. I'm tired of having notebooks all around me. I always have notebooks everywhere. Samantha, go back to sleep. The following champion Just go to sleep, though. Edge in the pit, defeated. Sami Zayn, Santino Morella, Minoru Suzuki, and Colt Cabana. So yeah, a couple of jamokes. Oh, I also just did this until I can get a full edge entrance. I think we did this for the pit anyway. Oh, he wasn't here for it. There you go. Look at him with a tag title like he's supposed to have. None but a tag team wrestler. <laughs> he finds me and kills me. Superstar. Full <laughs> edge entrance. God, help me! One of these men getting a one-on-one -on -one match at Swoggle Mania to defend their pod Swoggle Championship and get an opportunity to end Pod Swoggle to Twitch as the all-time champ. Here he comes, just no nonsense, nothing fun about it. Just a man that wins matches. But we've seen Edge be so resilient, so resourceful. Been in trouble almost every damn match he's been in. Yeah, that's great, Nick. Good job. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. God, I love those blue tights. Shout out to Greg Hamilton for doing it the right way. Rest in peace, Tony Chimmel. And introducing the champion from England, weighing in at Oof, 242 pounds. He is the Nick. He looks like he's in Knockout Kings 2000. No, I just was being mean. <laughs> Tony Chimmel's alive. He's sitting somewhere eating Cheeto popcorn.
I just said that because I want Cheeto popcorn. It's very good popcorn. Edge, Nick Aldis. Who will win the final tournament? <laughs> Nick, Ali, these nuts. Aldis coming out hot with a spear of his own. Edge up right away. Very mad about that. Backbreaker. Big shot to the face. <laughs> no selling, son of a bitch. Went for a takedown, misses it. Edge, flapjack. Road Warrior Edge. He does sound like a fucking Road Warrior. I have to go get a bowl of Cheeto popcorn after this. It's really good, right? It's so good. Backdrop on the floor. Aldis sends Edge into the post. Here comes 35 minutes of some bullshit brawling around a bunch of whatever. That's all Edge can do anymore. Aldis sizing up Edge. Forearm shot. Now he's sending him up the ramp. Oh boy, this <laughs> It's going to be a long one. Nope, Edge getting back in the ring. Fixing his pants. Breaking a non-existent count. We saw it so much throughout the day in March of Madness. Edge slugging away. Big clothesline. Another one. Will Rich remain Swoggle Squad champion going into the final weeks of Podswoggle? Yo, how do you get up faster after being slammed? Ty Bigums, I unfortunately have no idea. This is the computer playing itself for the Podswoggle Championship. Our monthly CPU versus CPU stream. It's normally silly, but this time it's just the current NWA champion, Nick Aldis, and Podswoggle champion against Edge. I'm of no help to you. I do not play these. It would be so much worse if I played. This is Edge sending Aldis into the, the uh, barricade. Thank you so much. Stick around. Hang out. We have, we have some fun here. We got another big stream coming up May 17th. All kinds of craziness going on. Aldis on the floor. Of course, somebody somebody comes in. Very nice man just wanting information. Of course, this boring-ass edge match is going on. Not interested in staking around. That's what he does, Tope. Thanks a lot. Just got the game. Big wrestling fan looking for some tips. Uh, some of the people that are on the stream play it more than I do. <laughs> so they might be able to help as Aldis is sent into the post. Edge throws him into the apron now. Getting back into the ring. Neck breaker. Edge knows what it feels like to have that neck broken. A plethora of times. Now Aldis will finally... Nope. Oof. What is happening? Spin kick. Shades of the cover of WWF No Mercy. Edge cool rock star horns, man. This legit Michael 40 minutes on the outside. Uh, the final Heels and Heels champion is to be determined, Desi, because uh, that title will be defended. Whoever's edge seems n <laughs> nice as fuck. Um, the current Heels and Heels champion is the Smoke Show Scarlet Bordeaux. She has successfully uh, defended that title in the Elimination Chamber after winning it at the Heels and Heels Rumble. Uh, but the Heels and Heels took a break. <laughs> the tip is played 2K19 instead. Um, finally sent back into the ring. Uh, the Heels took a couple months off, but they will be back for whatever final match uh, for the Heels and Heels title they have. It's Smuggle Mania Gutbuster by Edge. Edge using his noggin. Aldis has a counter for everything you can dish out at him. Tornado DDT nails it. 
Edge, center of the ring. Aldis think that's enough? Staring a hole through him. Staring down at the broken down legend. Aldis shot to the back. Got him up. Oh, there's that sit out body slam. Michinoku driver. I think that's actually the move that he used to win March of Madness. Is that enough to pin Edge? One. Two. No, Edge kicks out a two. He used that protoplex and he used the Michinoku driver. To win March of Madness matches left and right. But it's not enough to keep Edge down yet. Edge rolls away. Edge. Spear! Out of nowhere! Is that enough? One! Two! Oh! Two count only! I thought Edge had shocked the world and done it. It's going to be so sad when Edge is a retired old vet and they drag him out to some dumb Fox Sports World Show. Oh. Touche. Implant DDT! Is that enough to keep Aldis down? Edge to become the champ! Count of two! No! Aldis kicks out again! Two of Edge's biggest shots, and he can't keep him down! Spear again! The cover! Edge! One! Two! He kicked out again! <laughs> I don't believe it! Three finishers in a row can't keep Nick Aldis down. This man is ungodly. Chop. He already was an old retired vet and they dragged him out for what he's doing now. Thank you, Desi. Exactly right. Snake eyes. Up against the ropes. Oh, Lord, that could cripple Edge. Slammed against the ropes. My God, I love you, Magnus James. Float over. DDT. Aldis smartly rolls to the floor. A fitting final Podswoggle title match here in our last tournament. Aldis wants Edge back in the ropes. Uh, back in the ring. Aldis is like, I took a breather for me, not a breather for you. First DDT dropping Edge neck first down on the knee. Picks him back up. Short arm clothesline. Just down. Edge is resilient. Is he resilient enough to answer back from that Rainmaker? Not even a two count. These guys could go 40 minutes legit now, Tope. Aldis thinks that he wasted all of his energy on that kick out, dragging him away. Submission. Oh, Cloverleaf. Center of the ring. Center of the ring. Will Edge tap out to the Cloverleaf? Aldis is finisher, he taps! Nick Aldis retains the championship! The Marcho Madness champion proves his worth one more time! Marcho Madness means more than the pit, and Nick Aldis tonight means more than Edge. Rich is still your Swoggle Squad champion. And allow me to make some edits. Sorry, I'm muttering to myself. Great closing sequence. Why couldn't this motherfucker do this a year ago? <laughs> this also makes sense. The man with the most characters is the champ to end it all. <laughs> or will he be? Because at Swoggle Mania, Nick Aldis is going to have to earn becoming the last Pod Swoggle champion. Because we have six matches that will determine the competitors for the final Podswoggle title match. We will have a Podswoggle title defense. Nick Aldis will defend against a man who never received his title opportunity. Every year at Swoggle Mania, an unused rumble is held, and the winner is automatically entered into a tournament. This man never got his opportunity this season because I didn't find him until just now. Nick Aldis will defend the Pod Swoggle Championship against the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air at Swoggle Mania. The winner of that match will advance 
to the final Podswoggle title match. Who will be joining them in that final Podswoggle title match? Five other men. How will those five other men be determined in five of the craziest matches I could come up with? Of course, I mentioned earlier the 30-man unused rumble. The winner of that 30-man unused rumble that will kick off Swoggle Mania automatically goes to that final match to get a Podswoggle title opportunity. We mentioned ban lists earlier on. There are two lists for the Podswoggle Championship that have been used over the past couple years, one of which is the ban list. There will be an eight-man match, uh, stipulation of which to be determined, uh, either a, I believe it'll be a battle royal, actually, an eight-man battle royal. The winner of this will go into that tournament. That match includes Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, The Rock, Thanos, Zack Ryder, and Edge. The eight men who were banned from ever entering this tournament again on the last night of the title's existence will get one last chance to do it. The opposite list is a list that one of you listening out there made when they were champion. The only uh, fan that has ever been a uh, Podswoggle champion, B. Sumner, it's just going to end with Cena winning the title, isn't it? Maybe. B. Sumner made a not ban list. Uh, there were six people on that list. Unfortunately, only four of those men can be found because nobody bothered to make a Vincent or a TK Orion. Those four men will compete in a four-man Hell in a Cell match. The winner of that goes on to the final Potswoggle title match. It will be Mike Kanellis, Matt Taven, Adam Cole, and Johnny Gargano. But that's still not all. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial at this point. We've had some incredible Podswoggle champions and incredible March of Madness champions over the time. We are going to combine those men into two crazy matches. Sounds like Tyler Breeze booked this. You're damn right Tyler Breeze booked this. It will be a six-way ladder match between the six greatest Podswoggle champions of all time. It'll be the four men that were two-time champions, or three-time champions for that matter, EC3, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, and Kenny Omega taking on the two greatest champions to only hold at once, Captain Crunch and Jason Voorhees. And then every man that has ever won March of Madness twice in the annals of March of Madness will take the, out each other in an elimination eight-way. Jim the Anvil Nightheart, Brett the Hitman Hart, Lex Luger, Goldberg, The Big Show, Triple H, Zack Sabre Jr., and the only man to win the tournament and then lose the championship that wasn't already booked, Tyson Tomko. That's right, it's Swoggle Mania. We're getting Tomko up in the mix. The winner of the Unused Rumble. The winner of the March of Madness Elimination Match. The winner of the Two-Timer Ladder Match. The winner of the Unbanned List Hell in a Cell. The winner of the Banned List Battle Royal. And the winner of the Podswoggle Championship Match will all end the night in a six-man match but not any six-man match. For the first time ever, it'll be a six-person, 30-minute Iron Man match. you got to get multiple pinfalls. you got to get multiple victories if you want to end Swoggle Mania as the last Pod Swoggle champion. It's like WrestleMania 4, but dumb. But March of Madness runner-up six-way. you got the All-Star six-way. you got the Arcade Audio Tag Team titles. The Fiend versus CM Punk. Hogan versus Santino, Nice versus All Might, the Augie Artillas triple threat. You got Michael Widden versus Triple H one more time. It will be our best and biggest stream ever. The final one, May 17th, time to be determined. The final Swoggle Mania, the final Pot Swoggle Twitch stream. Thank you guys so much for joining us here live on Twitch and, of course, over YouTube. Cannot thank you guys enough for the support you've given us. This stream has been going on almost five years. Uh, because we were having too much fun just doing March of Madness once a year. We had to do it more, and it's led to some incredible matches, incredible moments. Thank you guys for the constant support. You can go back and watch so many of these streams, so many of these moments on YouTube, youtube.com slash podswoggle. Uh, of course, stay subscribed to Twitch. You never know when I might just pop on the old game and, and try to screw around and stream some stuff. You never know. Follow us wherever you get your, uh, your podcasts and social media. Uh, man, I'll miss these monthly streams. Some damn good times. I will as well be Sumner. Um, Potswoggle at gmail.com. Arcadeaudio.net slash Potswoggle mailbag. Our final episode of the weekly podcast, Potswoggle 500. 
will be, I believe, airing on June 12th was the date that I had said. Really got to remember that. Yes, June 12th will be the date that Podsoggle 500 airs. Uh, please hit us up with your thoughts uh, before that show. Let us know uh, uh, whatever you want to do. Whatever, whatever you want to let us know so we can talk about it there. Uh, as we mentioned earlier on, if you want to still listen to me and my wife, Samantha, Mary W. Movies, wherever you get your podcasts, same thing with the Blank Slate, everything on Arcade Audio, ArcadeAudio.net, our podcast network. This podcast started 10 years ago with just some wrestling fans dicking around, enjoying wrestling, and now we're a whole network of people from all over the country doing podcasts that they are passionate about and love. Please support. Please support podcasts in general. Please support people being creative. Uh, you guys and you of yourself have been so creative and so amazing over the years uh, with your picks and your jokes and your comments and your tweets and your emails and all that stuff. Um, continue to do so and continue to support people that are doing that. It means a lot to uh, all of us, especially me. With that, I will stop blabbing on and on and on because I just don't want it to end. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for the final monthly Podswoggle title tournament live on Twitch. We'll see you for Swoggle Mania May 17th, the biggest and baddest Swoggle Mania of all time. I'm your host, Mullet Swogging Off. We will see you next time.